start your computations. So it's been a minute since I've moved in and um, I don't feel like I'm fully satisfied with how my room is right now. The walls are so barren. If you know from my last place, I really like kind of more maximalist types of decor and I really like just filling up a lot of the space on the walls just to feel more like cozy. So I think today's the day where I finally finished decorating my room and it is like 8 a.m. right now and I am pumped and ready to go. Except I'm kind of tired because I stayed up last night. <laughs> but first, I need some food. <laughs> Let's go. Let me kind of go over everything that I want to get done today. This desk area is like pretty cute, but I feel like there could be a lot more going on on these walls. And my overall workspace is just way too cluttered. And I love like organized chaos, but it's been a little overwhelming. This little side cabinet has been really nice because it fits like right between my desk and this other shelf, but I have this awkward little <laughs> cavern. I'm pretty happy with this shelf. All my inventory has been fitting nicely. And then lastly, I just gotta organize all my shit. All my pens and art supplies and color pencils and all that just need a little bit of TLC. This is the dark underbelly of the desk, which is what I have to uh, figure out how to organize. Cable management is not my strong suit, but I want something a little better than this. I went out and I made a little trip to Ikea and I got some small things that I feel like would really tie the place in together. So I've been having this idea about having these little pocket shelves, just like a small shelf above the computer and then also these little pockets to hold like color pencils and other supplies. And then so I saw these guys, 
that I think really matches my vibe. It's just like this canvas satchel thing that is hung up with rods. I think it's for gardening mostly, but it's got these really nice pockets here. I also got a small shelf. It's very simple. And these are the rods that I'm thinking about using. It's a little plain and boring, but I do like the texture. I think it'll go well with the plants on the table and just the overall theme of the desk. Dang, I've got a lot of art to go through. Ever since the move, I kept all the art that was on my old studio wall in this luggage and it's been under my bed for months now. Admittedly, I haven't really organized everything since the move, so I'm going to be doing more of that today. <laughs> yeah, but there's just a lot of stationery and stickers and prints that I've collected over the years. And I'm kind of excited to be just like going through it all again. the pack of dried oranges a while ago and I was thinking about making an orange garland because I don't know it's just like a fun activity and I feel like this type of garland is really good at bringing a lot of warmth into a space. I think they still smell like oranges. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have a really bad nose but I'm tempted to try one. Ooh, that tastes good. <laughs> and like all things I'm going to wing it. Have I made an orange garland before? No. I'm gonna learn how to, maybe. So to my surprise, I do get a little bit of sunlight every day now. I'm guessing because it's getting deeper into spring and then closer to summer, more of that west part of my northwest lighting is coming in. And it's really nice because it's like right here, right where my desk is. So, oh my God, it's just very lovely. right now because I'm doing this right over my computer and I'm also, you know, making the decision to have a little shelf over my computer, but I think it's worth it. I found some random little sprigates of fake plants, so I'm going to tie it into this garland to give it a little bit more interest and I feel like it's already working really well. I even have this fake flower that just popped off of the stem. They'll add a lot more variety into this garland. started sketching a little bit just so I know where I'm going in terms of this but I'm just gonna go straight into it and paint <laughs>
looks like so far. I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow because I am so tired. too tired last night but I think I wrapped up this little painting today and I love how it turned out <laughs> I think the only thing that I want to do to just wrap up this project is kind of make them stand out as their own thing instead of this like one full collage so I'm gonna block out colors on the edges of the pockets still a little wet. I'm done! It looks really good. I still feel like I want to paint this top section but it's a lot of work. I feel like I might do that in the far future if I really really wanted it. It turned out really nice and it feels good knowing that like my instinct of wanting to color block them really worked out better. I can't wait to put it up. With this done I feel like that means everything else with the desk is going to come along together now. I'm just ending things here for today because honestly I'm really exhausted even though it doesn't feel like it's been too hard but it's good to take breaks. It's a cute little room. I love her. But I'll get to cleaning after a good old nap and I'll see you with the final results.
welcome to my room and my studio space. So after one more day of finalizing and organizing the room, this is the final product and I think it turned out really nice. So to start off the brief tour, this is the main space of the room. It's my desk space. And as you can see, I think I went a little ham on the um, amount of stuff in this area, but I feel like it works for me and I feel like it's really important to be in a rather creative space while you're working at your desk. So it feels really good to be surrounded by prints and art from artists that I admire and you know, some artwork that I've done myself that I'm proud of. I just think it's so important to cultivate a space that works for your specific needs and this is my way of making a comfy and cozy space for myself. It's definitely giving Studio Ghibli vibes of those rooms that are like way too cluttered but something about the clutteredness just works really well. That's what I'm going for. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> so before we get to the rest of the tour, I just wanted to talk about like what actually made everything possible for this little update, which is the desk itself. If you've seen my older videos, I had another little like studio update where I got this desk. This is a desk from FlexiSpot. It's the E2 standard standing desk. It's kind of a tongue twister, but it's a really lovely desk and I've had it for a few years now. I've worked with FlexiSpot in the past and it's been really nice. It's really nice to kind of include a standing desk into these type of room makeover situations because honestly the desk is the most important part of my room because this is where I work and where I create all my art. So and I think it's really important to invest in a nice desk. This one specifically from FlexiSpot is really nice because I love how wide it is. So I have a lot of extra room to decorate, but also a lot of room to like create as well. The tabletop itself is made from bamboo, which is really durable and also more eco-friendly. And I love how it comes in this like maple wood uh, color. It just adds to like the overall warmth and color of my space. And the best thing about it is just being able to actually like stand while you work and also have it at an adjustable height to wherever you're comfortable with. And what's really cool is that FlexiSpot's desks are rather cost effective so it's not like breaking the bank and you could spend on a budget. So if you want a desk of your own, I actually have a discount code below for you all. It's a 30 day risk free return policy so I honestly give it a try. Thanks so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring as always and now we're gonna get on to the rest of the tour. I know this is a little weirder and harder to film this angle because everything's just kind of crammed into one corner of my room but here are a bunch of my plants and also a bunch of decor on the wall. I've got a bunch of prints up here and I also have a lovely beret because I think it goes well with like the things that I like to put on my wall and it also goes well with this other IKEA cloud lamp that I have. I actually just put up this Rilakkuma decal on the lamp so it doesn't look the most smooth when you're really up close but from far away it looks pretty seamless. Down here I have a lot of small decor, just really tiny things that really works out well and kind of adds to that like organized clutter aesthetic. On the side I have washi tape dispensers for easy access and I also just really like to see them stuck on like this. Over here I've got some lovely ceramic pieces and also some fake plants. And over here I have the finished garland as well as more fake plants and I've settled with these plushies to go on top of the shelf along with a vining silver pothos. And then making my way down trailing with the silver pothos is the rest of my plants here and I've decided to put them all near me, near my desk because I just want to be around my plants more. Plus, I really love to view my terrariums in full view, so it's perfect to have them like right next to me. The reason why I'm able to have this work out, even though they're all kind of crammed in this dark corner, is that I have this one Soltec lamp. So this is what it looks like for most of the day, and I also have another lamp there for like coverage of the entire room. And yeah, 
That is my desk. This is how the IKEA patch turned out and I gotta say with it filled up with materials it looks really nice and I'm really glad that I took on a project like that. Let me introduce you to the rest of the room. Next to the desk is this area where I have print stuff, my printer, and a lot of art supplies in this little drawer. A lot of these drawers are rather full with stuff. It's mostly like paper, product stickers, and like um, mailing stuff. Here I have my very old dinosaur printer, which is the Epson Artisan 1430 printer. I used to get a lot of questions about what kind of printer this was because people were interested in getting the same one and sadly this one's discontinued but I'm still going to be using it until it doesn't work. And above it I have lots of prints, some plushies, and my little gachapon collection that I'm starting up. I have my two sunny angels here. I like to have them hidden because I feel like that makes it more fun. And that makes up these shelves. On the ground, I have this strawberry plush and a plant. And the main purpose of this plush here is kind of just to hide this like seam. It just looks weird when the rug kind of ends there. So I do that to cover it up. Plus, Dumpling loves sitting on this. And scooting on over is the floor length mirror that I really like to, you know, just check my fits before I go out. And as you can notice, I have too many mirrors in my room. <laughs> and in this little section is the foyer of the room, which is just this little hallway for the door. <laughs> so I put up some prints to kind of fill up this wall space without making it too crowded. And on this side, I have a rack to keep my keys and essentials and a lot of the bags that I like to use when I go out. And I also have a shelf with some small prints on top that I actually taped down because I realized that opening this door tends to lead to the prints falling down because of the gust of air. So some workarounds are good. This other mirror that I have is actually my jewelry accessories cabinet. Originally, I didn't want to have even more mirrors in my room, but this was kind of the only thing I found that was really useful for um, organizing jewelry and having it be like fitting in a compact space. And then on this wall over here, I have my garden shelf with all of my shop inventory and then also my rolling cart with more of my shop inventory and then the rest of the wall is just the closet. <laughs> Rainy sits on top here and I feel like it's a nice place for her where she kind of rules from above. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this part is rather self-explanatory. Nothing too special about it. I just use a lot of um, hay crates and also hay-like crates. I'm a really big fan of the colored milk crate aesthetic and I think it's just really helpful to kind of brighten up a space, especially when you, I have like this shelf that is kind of this very beige neutral tone. It's not even a beige, it's more like a dirty gray or something. They're also really nice to sort things out by color and then also I'm planning on using some of these for tabling and conventions in the future. I just love how they come in different sizes and especially when it comes to tabling, this is nice to like flip around and then use for height. I'm also slowly upgrading my packaging game and you know trying to make everything as like sweet and enjoyable as I can. I just wanted to show off the envelopes because they're really cute and this is kind of like the whole direction I'm trying to go with with more of the things she packaging and branding and all that so pretty straightforward and it's really nice to actually see everything in stock so yeah lovely product shelf and right between the bed and the desk is Dumpling's cat tree and he's sleeping so soundly on it right now sorry I woke you up I have some sketchbooks in here and also my switch games and other video games like um, I have two DS's and I just wanted a surface to put some things on while I'm in bed because a nightstand table is always very nice. Next to the bed is kind of a peculiar assortment of things. I just have my plant shelf full of a lot of smaller plants and small decor. Um, one favorite thing on the shelf is this white rabbit candy soda bottle 
and I'm holding some propagations in it right now. This is the coziest section of the room, which also takes up the most space in the room, which is my bed. It would be nice to have like a full-size bed or something just to make like more space in the room, but I'm pretty tall and I like to, you know, take up my space when I sleep. So here I am with my queen size bed. If you know me from my last few places that I've been, I've brought this uh, paper decal with me to my first apartment and then now to my new space here. And um, I don't really know why I still have it right now. <laughs> it's just very beat up and I'm kind of holding it up together by way too much tape, but I'm enjoying it for now. It is a very nice decal to just have like hills next to my bed. I've got really large prints here and then also really small prints here. So it makes for like a really fun variety of sizes. And I also got like different textures with like literally this like fuzzy yarn decal up on top here. And I've got this cloud lamp that really goes with these mountains. <laughs> And it makes for like a really good reading light. So last minute, I decided to add this one on this side of the wall. I have my Croconana in there for now, but I think it's nice to just have like a pouch near me while I'm in bed so I could like put my phone in there, or put some books in there, and it won't be like crowding the bed too much. I can literally hear how like non-echoey my voice is because there's like so many plushies over here. It's a very nice corner. <laughs> So that's about it. Thank you for joining me on this little tour of mine. You know, there's only so many corners to my room and there's only so much space here. But I feel like I really made it work for myself and I've kind of made a home for myself here. I think over time I'll probably be adjusting things here and there and just like personalizing things as I go. That's kind of just the nature of living and growing as we go. So thank you for joining me in this little adventure of creative expression through, you know, decor and interior design and whatnot. I'll be back with more videos. I actually have an older video that I'm going to post. It's about a shop update I had earlier this year and it's really fun because it's showing off a lot of new products that I have. So yeah, look forward to that and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!